Ladies and gentlemen, it's Emily. Woo! Emily Hubler. You know what? I'm I'm really sad to see you go. I don't think this is your time yet. Why do you think you're sitting here today? Because there's a bunch of shady people because of the fucking powers. But evidently, as I stated earlier, that's the only way it seems like to get me out is that there's a power or there's a double elimination. So I guess that means a good thing on my end that I am a threat. I don't see me as a threat, but you know, if that's what it takes to get me out. Okay. I will say, Emily, I think that your game was great. I think you came in. I think you, you and Eric came in at like the perfect time, really. In this game, it really, I think, benefited you at first. Um, and then I think, I think. Oh my gosh, yeah, you got a little bit shady. And I think that I didn't. I don't think it completely screwed you, but I think that it definitely put a little damper on it when you kind of got caught with the with that vote. Uh, I think that's partially the reason why you're sitting here, or do you think that was so long ago that it's irrelevant now? I mean, it could have been parts of it because if I wasn't shady or got caught, I'm maybe been able to work something in with um Daniel, but yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden, we get to the collateral a few episodes ago, where all of a sudden we have two men, one taken, another very gay, fighting for the honor of fair Emily in the collateral. Do you think, like, that put a target on your back? Like, what were your thoughts, like, with all of that going on? Like, how did that affect your game, and do you think it hampered you? I honestly don't think that really put a target on my back, because, I mean, I didn't really hear anything about it afterwards. It might have been. I honestly, I thought it would have put a target on my back just because how everyone, like those two, were going back and forth, everything fighting for me. I don't know if people even realized how close Hugo and I were in this game mm -hmm. until that point because I tried to make it quiet on exactly who I really was with. And I know I was viewed as in the middle when really it's, I didn't see me as in the middle at all. But no, that whole thing, it could have possibly, you know, put the target on my back, but I don't see it as that but that still confuses the fuck out of me why Aaron was working so hard lost so much shit for his game that you know ended up getting him out of the game just to end up saving me and yeah so I'm more confused rather than thinking that put a target on me Emily what was your favorite moment in the game I, I did enjoy getting to know Hugo and everything because him and I we have honestly became close in this game I don't know if everyone realizes how close like, we make phone calls to each other all the time and talk all the time. So that I did enjoy. And it's just, like, the different things where it was the good times with the, you know, with the joking around and in the rooms. Because that's all I'm about. I'm more of the social person. So anytime that there was a lot of fun, I enjoyed it. And then my one fun challenge, the funnest challenge, I think, I know you didn't really exactly ask this one, but was where we had to do, you know, run to get the stuff, even though I lost at it because I had to go run to the other room and everyone else had the fucking bag already right there. Funniest part, though, is when I came into the call the first night and what's-her-face Mackenzie was you, Josh, and I'm like, what's wrong with your face? Because I thought, <laughs> I thought she was really, I thought that was really you. And then when I realized it was someone completely different, I was like, oh, shit. So I'm new to this game. Don't even know who this person is. I'm like, what's wrong with your face? That was probably like the funniest moment for me. And most embarrassing moment for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you certainly came in with a bang. That's for sure. The last several rounds, you've been trying to get away from Scott by sending Scott out of the house. Is it at least somewhat relieving that you're in a place that Scott is not currently? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no! Why is he still in that fucking house when he should have been gone a while ago? Daniel fucking should have been gone a while ago, but somehow they're fucking cats with not nine lives, but like fucking twenty lives who needed to go out way beforehand. But no, they get to stay before me. I mean, they can stay longer. It's fucking bullshit. I want to see them gone. But I swear to God, if I see them gone next round, I swear to fucking God, if I see them gone next round, that's not going to make me happy. Because that's going to be like a fucking slap to my face. Like, oh, you're out. Now we can get them out. Fuck you all. Who are you rooting for in the game right now? Honestly, Mike. 
and that might be a shocker that I'm not saying Eric, but I love Eric. I adore Eric. But he was seeming pretty shady towards me at the very end. All right, this is my last question that I've asked everyone that's been voted out of the game, Emily. Not who you want to win, but who is your winner's pick? Who do you think is going to take this whole game? Who's playing Kaya, game? hands down. And what makes you think that? I even said that. I even mentioned that today during that little fight. Like, at first I was saying, you know, Daniel's going to win because of how he's doing playing. However, he's really fucking messy, too shady, and with the win, you have to have both jury management and also the challenge or end game, like, moves and everything. Kaya, I seriously thought she was just some person who's just chilling in this game, just whatever. But after the past few rounds, she's been shining through. And I've been seeing, like, oh, she has been playing this game. (laughs) And she's now, you know, coming out, shining through it all. And just with how she does it, she has everything with it. The game moves, the, it seems like the strategic, and also, like, right now, kind of, like, with the jury management type thing at this stage of the game. So, as of right now, I would say Kaya has it hands down if she gets it to that final two. All right. Well, with that, Miss Thang, you are our second member of the jury. So, you will you will definitely have a part in crowning the winner. So, your job in this game is not done yet, which is great. I think it's an honor to have made it this far. I'm really proud of you. 